non-stop cheers, tears, and hugs for Joel Castone, released Monday night from the DC jail after 27 years behind bars for murder. It hasn't been 27 years uh, waiting to go home. It has been 27 years preparing myself to never come back to prison again. In June, Castone bested four other people detained in the jail to become an advisory neighborhood commissioner for the detention center and the community around it, a historic first for an incarcerated person. <laughs> but at least one neighboring commissioner says what she would like to hear from him is an apology. The first thing I'm thinking about is Rafiq Washington because Rafiq Washington was the individual he was convicted of killing 27 years ago. So I'm thinking about a man who did not um, get married, have kids, have grandkids. That's what I'm thinking about. He should stay in jail simply because he took that away, he took life away from someone else. They will never have the ability to do what he or anyone else has done. <laughs> A spokeswoman for Castone has been declining interview requests, but the 44-year-old maintained in an interview with Kim Kardashian before his release that he had been wrongly convicted in 1994 in the shooting death of another team. Awesome. Long time coming. In jail and in prison, he has been a mentor, a worship leader, a financial literacy counselor. And he's taught himself multiple languages. What do you think? Uh, we're very happy. He deserves this. It took too long, but it's great to have him home. He's, ear he's earned it. Castone says he hopes to find some place to live in the neighborhood so he can keep representing the people he left behind in jail. Right now, what I want to do, I want to go pray. <laughs> in D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA Now.